Trump critics had a real rough one. Just, just in the closer. Because the Mueller report finally uh, came out. Although, it's not the full report. It's not the full report. It's just a summary. Let's wait until we see the full report. Can't people just admit they might be wrong? <laughs> Can't they just fucking admit well, there's that a they might person. be wrong? There's a biased person writing the summary. God almighty. So uh, the summary came out of the uh, Mueller report. Now, the report is very, very long. So that's why I know. I've read it twice. It's not out. The full well, report is... Well, whatever. <laughs> sent to me. Well, whatever. I got an advanced copy? It was on a PDF. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a PDF of it. Um, and yeah, the summary came out. They give it to a guy. The guy spent two days reading it. And that was the first thing. Well, 48 hours to read a report of this size and summarize it. He must be missing certain details. Well, the key details are in there. And apparently there is no obstruction... And there is no, no collusion. collusion. Yeah. And, okay, they didn't exonerate Trump, and they're holding on to that. How about just saying it said that there was no collusion in the report? They did a pretty fucking thorough investigation. Just admit you're wrong, or, or just, you might be wrong. Or celebrate and say, like, hey, isn't it good news that uh, our president didn't co- uh, uh, collude with Russia? They think it's bad news <laughs> that the president didn't collude with Russia. It's true. How about saying, wow, <laughs> it's almost like if you think your girlfriend cheated on you. Yeah. And then you find out, like, fuck that bitch, she cheated. And then you find out she didn't. You're like, God damn, am I glad to be wrong. But I'm were, glad she didn't cheat on me. Because the problem is that you were looking at other girls going like, okay, once I find out that she cheated on me, I'm going to start dating that yeah. one. I'm going to fuck that one. Not date her, but I'll fuck that one. And I'll hang out with that one and just see what happens. And then you find out she didn't cheat on you. And then you're mad at her. Because now you can't break up with her because she actually didn't cheat on you. And then you go, well, it's only a summary of what you did. I'd like the full report. Yeah. But it really, it's like... You just be relieved that, that, that the Russians did not influence the election. I was watching CNN and MSNBC yeah. yesterday. How were they doing with uh, it? There was a lot of yeah buts. Of course there was. <laughs> I mean, of course. I love yeah buts. <laughs> it was embarrassing to watch. Like, just, like you said, just be happy. Be happy that your president didn't do a bad thing. Yeah, don't be fucking babies. You don't like the guy, but he he won. He won using the system. He won because of the Electoral College, the same way you thought he was going to lose. He well, won. Well, there's still a lot of investigations. And yeah, Southern but... New York is going to indict him and this and blah, blah, blah. It's not over. Yeah, it uh, is. Th- that works. part of it, he, we, there was no clue. Okay, I didn't have an investment in whether it was or not. I did, all right, well, they'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. Give us a fuck. Yeah, there wasn't. But... Be happy. Well, they're saying that Trump didn't collude but there isn't enough evidence to say without a doubt that Trump did collude uh, in collude. a court of law. So they're saying that uh, that it's not saying he didn't collude. It's saying a court couldn't prove that he did. And you're like, well, what? That's the, that's how we, that. that's how we decide things, though. They will hang on to the fact that it doesn't exonerate him. And that the attorney general, who was appointed by Trump, decided not to charge him with obstruction. So is this them saying, well, we didn't say he's innocent. It says he's not guilty. Yeah. And it's like, that's just that's how we figure things out. You're saying, oh, let's get the president to go to court. The court found him not guilty. Okay, then it's time to move on. You had a special prosecutor, and he interviewed everybody. I think, he, I think Putin was interviewed. This guy talked to everybody. I mean, you got... Oh, you got all he these, talked to Gorbachev. Manafort's going to jail, and the lawyer, what's his name? Uh, Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen's going to jail, and poor Roger Stone is having a hell of a time with it. You, you, you left no stone unturned. No pun intended. Right. No he, collusion. There's no collusion on this one. 500 people. So <laughs> 500. Be, instead of being happy, the fucking press is disappointed they are. that they were wrong. They were hoping. And you're not supposed to be wrong as the press. It should be that you're never wrong because the press shouldn't be saying he colluded. The press should just be saying there is an investigation happening. Brian and Philly. No, I did not see this. And that way, by the way, they wouldn't be wrong because they would have just said there's an investigation happening. Uh, what's up, Brian? Hey, guys. Jimmy, you didn't see Rachel Maddow cry Friday night when the fucking report came out live on television. No. I did not see that. Pull it up. Okay, we'll look around. And, yeah, the, uh, yeah, and then one of the articles says, don't, ex- don't expect a mea couple by the media. Never. Ne- they'll never do the story on what do we do to contribute, meaning them, what do we, the press, do to contribute to the mass murder problem by making these guys Mm-mm. antiheroes, and they, and they won't do this. Mm-mm. Okay, here's uh, Rachel Maddow. It says, barely holds back tears. Uh, okay, there's a little, little advertisement before it starts. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, 
It really is amazing. And this goes back to what we were just talking about a moment ago, which is if he's so bad, if he's so evil and he's grabbing pussies and he's racist and he's doing all this stuff, just because he didn't collude doesn't mean that he's not this evil man. Show show him, instead of latching on to this thing, that this report that you wanted so badly says he didn't do, show something else. If he's this bad, it shouldn't be this hard. But the press acting like they act about it, all they do is strengthen why people like him. Mm -hmm. Because he says, fuck the press, they're fake. And, and all they do is continue to make his case. That's right. Fuck the press. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck the press. Fuck him is right. He's got it bad because he's orange. NWA lurk. Ah. Yeah. Except I've replaced brown with orange. Good for you. He's tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Smart so that's a little take. joke about the tan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought it right around. NWA lyric. Come on. Worked on very many levels. Very when you walk through the garden. <laughs> Quit playing. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh let's see what uh Rachel Maddow had to say. It's breaking news. Is that a couple of hours ago, maybe even less than that? I was uh, standing knee deep in a trout stream in Tennessee, <laughs> but now it's Mueller is that time. A, is that no? It's Mueller time. Standing knee deep in a trout stream. Is that a joke about Miller time? The beer. Oh, Mueller now time. Now it's Mueller time. Oh, no. yeah. I thought knee deep in a trout stream was innuendo. But she, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she was actually doing that. Oh, okay. Because I was like, that reminds me of college, huh, guys? Huh? No. Is it? Do you believe it? No, you had more, for you it would have been more like face down, face deep in a worm bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating the bait, Sam. <laughs> and so I'm in a studio in the great state of Tennessee. Uh, the trout are basically just as safe as they were when I was flailing away at them ineffectually <laughs> this afternoon. Boo. Um, but now it is, listen, oh, it's, poor Rachel. this is history. There's, this, is, this is a reason to stop fishing and go to work. Um, our, our, our job tonight um, as a country, sort of, or at least what everybody in the country is going to be doing tonight, is, is trying to figure out what it means that the report of special counsel Robert Mueller has finally been submitted. We've heard Okay, it so said, this is before the results yes, were out. Yes, of course, when she still has her fucking hopes set up high. That's right. That the president colluded with oh Russia. Oh my God, Twitter on Friday? It was just a, a, a liberal dream. It was all coming true. It was, <laughs> you know, you know it was what my just favorite... going to be the best. Our friend Corey Graves sent out a tweet that said, I just read the uh, Mueller report and here's what I found out. And it was a meme from uh, Billy Madison that said, Miss Lippy's car is green. <laughs> Billy likes soda. <laughs> and he ended up being more right than anybody. Because yeah. they really were. It was like, across social media, the president is getting locked up by Monday. This was it. Yep. Everyone was so excited. And you could see Rachel sitting there going like, man, if I thought trout fishing was fun, and this is not a double entendre, this is actually fishing for trout. If I thought trout fishing was fun, oh boy, wait till I get the results of this report. They were so thrilled because they thought they were going to nail him. And then Trump was like, there's no collusion. And he, was, he ended up being correct. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so many times that it was imminent, that it was done. Maybe it was already done and we didn't know about it. Finally, it's happened. Um, in terms of what that means and what Mueller found, we know only the smallest little bit. This is the start of something, apparently, not the end of something. I mean, the logistics of today, at least, we know a little bit about. At 4.30 p.m. Eastern time, the staff of the House Judiciary Committee got a call from the Justice Department that somebody would be bringing a letter from the Attorney General. I'm sure they all immediately guessed what that letter was. Um, a Justice Department staffer... This was back before uh, our innocence was lost. Yep. This was back when it was all still fun. Before when we, we were found... When we were still hoping uh -huh. that the President <laughs> and the Russians colluded. We were still hoping <laughs> that there was an explanation for why we lost. Right. We were still hoping that we could blame it on the Russians. We were still hoping that we were going to get our way. Sorry. You know, how are they not happy that the president didn't collude with Russia? I don't have a horse in this race, and I certainly am not saying that this is the way I'll vote. However, as I watch this, right, and I'm watching the coverage, and I'm watching uh, Chuck Schumer lose his fucking mind and go, you know, hey, wait, 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 we didn't, it's just a summary, like, let's wait, let's see. And Nancy Pelosi is losing her mind, and everybody's, you know... I'm sitting there, 
and everybody, even though it's been announced, there's no collusion. And there just isn't. Like, can we, there just wasn't there collusion. Wasn't. Like, I know we thought there was, and it would be really fun if there was, but there wasn't. I'm sitting there and I'm watching this, and I'm going, oh my God. Not only, remember when Trump first got elected? I think both of us thought he wouldn't make the full term. Just for, something would happen and he wouldn't make the full term. I don't know if I thought that or if I said he's going to do eight years. I don't know if you said that from the beginning. Maybe I didn't. You definitely said that he was going to make it. I definitely said he wasn't going to make it. Roger Stone didn't think he was going to make it. Right, right. Yeah, I think. Because so much shit happened in like the first three months. Right. I was like, there's no way. But I figured he'd he'd drop out or something. Like, I figured he'd resign. Like, I, I thought he'd just get sick of it. Yes. But I'm sitting there. And I didn't, I don't think any of us factored in the fact that the people who don't like Trump, the force fighting against him, would self destruct and go just as crazy as him, if not crazier. The media has lost just as much, if not more, credibility in the last couple of years than the office of president. They've, for lost, sure. they've lost a lot of it because there's a bunch of them doing the same thing. He's right. just one guy. Right. They, they are, there's, there's a shitload of them, and they wanted it to be true so bad. And I'm watching this, and I'm going, it's official. I already knew, of course, he was going to make this term, and that it was likely that he would get a second one. I'm watching this and watching them cling on to this. They got the results. They're just not accepting the results. And I'm going, this is, this is why we're going to have another four years of Trump. Like, he's definitely going to do eight years total. He's definitely winning in 2020, right? Yeah. Yeah, he is. I mean, I'm looking and I'm going, they're all nuts. They're all crazy in the way they're trying to fight this guy. He has gotten them all worked up so much. They're completely out of their comfort zone. They have no idea what they're doing. And there's not one person that can beat him at this. What else did he's, she say? He's I, getting another four years. I want to see her get, I want to see her fucking see the, the moment because she's so giddy right now. She's so giddy. Because it's before. Yeah. It's when it was still magic. Yeah. She ended her vacation early because she was so excited. She wanted to be the one to report it. They're like, we could have the fill-in report it. No, 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 I'll do it. Because they don't do best of. They have fill-in hosts. Right. It's news. That's right. There's so no the repeats. fill-ins could have done it. She's like, no. She said it's history. Yeah, it's history. You know why she said it's history? Because she thought our president's about to get fucked. Right. She didn't know the results. But she said it's history because she was so sure that we're about to announce that there's Russian collusion. Yeah. Because it's not history that there's no Russian collusion. You know why that's not history? Because it hasn't happened to our knowledge. Every president has had no Russian right. collusion. This is <laughs> one of many. Right. Trump is one of many who has had no Russian collusion. All the presidents so far have not colluded with Russia. Right. Right. It's the only reason it's history is because the media went into such a tizzy. It's hist- It's media history. Yeah. But this president has not separated himself uh, in terms of collusion. It is history. Never have we in the press looked so fucking stupid <laughs> as we do right now. Never has a media collectively looked like such <laughs> panicky, biased assholes as we look right now. That's right. That's right. They were colluding with each other. Yep. All right. Let's hear what Rachel said. Messenger of some kind. All we know is that she was wearing a North Face jacket. She's uh, excited. She brought, yeah, in she fact, <laughs> two letters to the committee in two separate manila envelopes. That was just before five o'clock Eastern time. Our assumption is that the, there were two envelopes and two separate letters because that was one letter for the Democratic chairman of the committee and one for the Republican ranking member of the committee. Um, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Democratic Congressman Jerry Nadler, was at his New York office. He was not in D.C., so the committee staff quickly She's getting all made the details out there. Copy Dude, nobody and, runs and, something into the ground. Like Rachel Maddow. Especially when it's something to celebrate. Holy shit. She we, could stretch it out. Oh, yeah. She wants people to realize this is a big deal. This is a big fucking deal is what she's saying. She's the worst. We're about, to, we're about to have some collusion on display. Oh, yeah. Let's party. Yeah. Friday comes out. Collusion. We're about to get our collusion announcement. Saturday, everybody's waiting with bated breath. Oh, my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Sunday afternoon rolls around. This guy, Mr. Summary Man, he's like, here's your summary. Where's the collusion part? It's right there where it says none. None. <laughs> yeah, she's just stalling now until she gets it. Well, she's she's a not, talker. But she's not, not getting she's not it. She knows that they're not getting it. Yeah, she's not getting it for two days. Yeah, he had to read the whole report. Mr. Summary Man had to spend the next two days reading the report. This was Friday when they just announced that it had been turned in. Oh, yeah. The, All this is announcing is that the guy, the Summary Man is getting it. Yeah. Okay. So, Finished. So the letters that the Democrats and the Republicans are getting are just that the report is done. Mm. And we're giving it to Mr. Summary Man. I mean, Man. there's no news here. Okay. Like, that's the news. Good, that the letter's been delivered. Yeah, but she can... 
She could spend hours. Then why are they saying that she gets so upset in this? She no, she, I think she's on oh, the verge much, of tears yeah. because she's so excited. Oh, I misread that. Okay, yeah, I hope yeah. so. I think so. And got the letter to him that way. We know those details thanks to a Judiciary Committee spokesperson laying out that process. We know that is how the House Judiciary Committee huh. was notified this evening that Special Counsel Robert Mueller had completed his investigation. We are assuming that a similar process, or at least a, a, a process with the same effect, also unfolded at the Senate Judiciary Committee around the same time today, but we don't have the same kind I detest of her that delivery. Process. It's the worst. Uh, just very, very fucking smug. This is a big deal, very she's smug. saying. This is a big deal because we all have moral superiority to that bastard in the White House. Unfortunately, that was when we were operating under the assumption that we knew the results of the of the thing and there was going to be collusion. Yeah. Oh, so she hadn't learned yet that she, she didn't oh, know there was okay, no. Okay. She's still happy. This is that's what I'm saying. So have we seen her since? This is like September 10th, 2001, where everybody's like, nothing bad could ever happen. No. This is Rachel Maddow's attitude. My car got towed September 10th. From New York, I was with a girl, back to my house, and I wound up fucking her that night. September 10th was a half good, half bad night for me. And a terrible night for her because she had to fuck me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. 9-11 happened, and she was like, you should have seen last night. <laughs> that little tower fell. <laughs> Never stood up. Uh, let's go to... Uh, oh, uh, I guess we could... Yeah, let's, let's wrap, wrap this up. Seconds. I thought that, yeah. So... We know the logistics of how we got the notification that it ended. And obviously, right now, we have mostly just a ton of questions as to what Mueller's report says. Sure, how questions. How complete it is, who gets to see it, who gets to decide who gets to see it, and when. But after two years of almost entirely just questions about what Mueller is doing, I mean, some answers will start to emerge. Not the right ones, no. though. Yeah, that was a waste. We should... yeah, that was waste. I did, yeah, I, well, I, I did like how she excited she was. I, she I, I thought this anything. was after she found out. No, no, no she no, hasn't no. said anything since it came out. Okay. No, I, she, she, just, she decided not to jump on the air for a special on Sunday when the news came out. Yeah, <laughs> no. When she, history she, happened. Was she fishing again? Yeah, she wasn't part of their panel. No, yeah, she well, went, why not come back on? We, once the history has happened. She was like, bro, I'm in a trout stream right now. I'm not coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's that? No collusion? I can't hear you. Sorry, bad reception. In a trout stream. go. Sorry, my phone was in my boot. Can't hear you. Samantha in Buffalo. What's going on, Samantha? Hi. Good morning, boys. Good morning. So I'm sitting in my parking lot dreading going into work because <laughs> after something like this happens in an office, it's like an all-out free-for-all of Trump bashing and people baiting you into saying, like, can you believe that this didn't happen? And if you don't take the liberal side, you're, like, shunned in your office. And I'm not even conservative. I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah, you know, so all day long, people feel free to say shit like unhappiness that the president isn't colluding with Russia. I don't. I don't all that I'm going to have to deal with. I don't like that. We can't. That, thank you very much because you're right, Samantha. I, it's crazy that you have to take one side or the other. You can't just sit there and enjoy that everybody in the press and half the political spectrum. Yeah. Is is was wrong? Like, yeah. that, isn't that funny? Or, and that, that's the fact that they can't admit they were wrong. That's funny. Don't try to find a silver lining. Just take the dick. Right. You're take wrong. the dick. Just take it. Fuck. Yeah. Trying to, it's, it's the whole trying to save face when for two years we have been proudly and and loudly pushing this. We put all our chips behind the collusion What's that? thing. All the laughter. No, all the all the all the money we put into the gamble, the the the, uh, uh, the collusion thing, and unfortunately, it would appear that there's no collusion. Let's take a piss. I got yeah. a piss. We're gonna take a piss. Jamie Jost is here. Jamie Jost, of course, from Hate Breed, will be uh, joining us. Well, so who do you think? We uh, let's wrap it up. Jim Jeffries, Barbara Streisand, kicked in the face woman, or Trump critics. Um, Jeffries, because he's one person. Streisand, 78. She said she's sorry. It won't, she, you know, she just said something stupid. That will pass. I don't think there's any audio of it. Uh, the Trump critic, there's a bunch of them, and they can all talk to each other and not feel like, and still feel like something bad's about to happen to him, so they can always take comfort in that. Mm -hmm. And the press will all take the exact same angle. So for them, there isn't just one villain. But with Jim, he's got it the worst because there's audio, um, and, and people are seeing him as the one 
villain. I'm going to stick with you on this because I think uh, Barbara Streisand can still be out of touch and think that she's apologized yeah. and everything's fine. Jim's having the toughest weekend. I think that the yeah the the Trump critics can live in their state of delusion and That's act right. like this isn't happening. The woman that got kicked in the face, apparently she's homeless, so even though she got kicked in the face, she's still homeless, which is even worse than getting kicked in the face. Yeah, and they said she was treated and released. So, yeah, I think that Jim Jeffries had this week's worst weekend in the world. Well, we just put a poll up on Twitter. Yeah. And we can see what the results are. All right, well, let's do it after the break. Well, we already posted it. Oh. No, I th- we posted it, yeah. and then we'll check the results after the break, you fucking asshole. But not everyone's going to vote during the break. Well, we could check the results after the break, and then at the end of the show, and maybe revisit tomorrow. I like that, because it's open for 24 hours. <laughs> so I, I think you. it's important to open a poll for 24 hours. Well, that's uh, how long you Let's go to break. Let's go to break. We'll be right back. Oh, by the way. 